a very good morning dear children today we are going to continue with the remaining part of chapter 5 we already have covered up with the first two points and we also saw what is electronic configuration but today we are actually going to solve it we are going to look at a lot of examples okay now this is the table with the help of which we are going to be understanding how we are supposed to find the electronic configuration this is already there in your uh, textbooks on page 33 so today we are going to be learning only one page only one uh, concept we are going to be learning which is on page 33 okay so you can open up your textbooks to that page now let's look at this table the first column uh, shows atoms that means these are the examples which we are going to be solving today the second is the symbol that is how you represent the atom the third is electron number in the atom now this is nothing but atomic number okay whenever you want to find the electronic configuration of any atom it is very important that you know how many electrons are there you cannot find it without knowing how many electrons are there so atomic knowing the atomic number or knowing the how many electrons are there in the atom is very very important to find electronic configuration okay then you have distribution of electrons so this we saw in the last class where i showed you k shell which is a first shell then second is the l shell third is the m shell and fourth is the n shell okay and whatever numbers are written in the bracket it is the capacity of the shell that is 2 8 18 and 32 okay whatever you are going to be writing in these four columns of k l m and n based on that you are going to be filling up the electronic configuration that is the last column all right i hope this table is clear so we'll just start with the first one that is hydrogen so hydrogen has a total of one electron so this is hydrogen okay which has one electron or it has the atomic number of one and here these are the shells so we have four shells k l m and n with the capacity of 2 8 18 and 32 so here we are going to consider the first shell so i know that the first shell can accommodate two electrons or it has a capacity of two so what do i do i have only one electron so what do i do i put it in the first shell one electron in the k shell i've put so this structure which you see on the right it is the atomic structure i repeat it is the atomic structure of hydrogen okay this same thing we are going to be putting in the table so let's look at the table i have put one electron in the k shell so i have put one in the k column okay and i have nothing in the l m and n because i have hardly one electron only okay so this same thing becomes your electronic configuration so you write electronic configuration is one okay don't worry you will understand this as we are looking at more examples you will understand okay let's look at the second example my second is helium which has electron number is 2 so helium has atomic number as 2 okay again here which shell are we going to look at the first shell which has the capacity of 2 so what do you do you directly put in two electrons in the first shell that is the k shell okay so this is the shell which has now become complete why because the capacity is 2 and it has two electrons so it's full or it is stable all right this is the atomic structure of helium we will fill in the table so i have put two electrons in the k shell so i write two in the k column and my electronic configuration becomes two all right so this is simple at least as you looking at more examples it's going to be a little more complex okay third let's look at the third one lithium lithium has total of 3 electrons now here lithium has the atomic number of 3 i cannot only look at the first shell obviously because i have 3 but the first shell can have only 2 so i'm going to look at the second shell also so the first and the second shell has to be used for lithium okay let's look at this so i have 3 electrons 
correct from this three electrons i can put only two in the first electron so i put two in the first electron from three electrons if two i have already put i have only one remaining and that i'll put in the second shell why i cannot put it in the first shell because it can put it can accommodate only two electrons not more than that okay so you put two electrons in the first shell and whatever is remaining if it is less than eight then you put it in the second shell so this we will write it in the uh, table so lithium has two electrons in the k shell it has one electron in the l shell now so i wrote uh, so i wrote two in k k and one in l okay now when you're writing electronic configuration you cannot add up the numbers always remember this okay how many ever electrons are there in the shells you you write it in electronic configuration column and you separate it with a comma so 2 comma 1 means that i have two electrons in the k shell and one electron in the l shell understood so 2 comma 1 will become a electronic configuration of lithium okay let's look at another example next carbon carbon has electron number of 6 6 is the atomic number here again which are the shells which i'm going to be looking at i'm going to be uh, using the first shell that is k shell as well as the second shell that is the shell which has a capacity of 8 okay so we'll start with it 6 i have got from that my first shell can take up only 2 so i put 2 in the first shell from 6 I have used 2. I have 4 remaining. So that 4 I will put in the second shell. So this becomes the atomic structure of carbon. Okay. Let's put this in the table. So carbon I am putting. How many electrons did I put? 2 I put in the K shell. And 4 I put in the L shell. So my electronic configuration will be 2 comma 4. I hope this is getting simpler. You are understanding this. Okay. Now based on what we have done till now. You are going to be solving for nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. Till there you will be solving. Because all these atoms are where you are using the two shells. K and L. So it is going to be easy for you. Because same method you have to follow. So I am going to directly now show you how we are going to solve for sodium. Alright. So sodium, just search for it, sodium, I hope you've got it. Sodium has electron number is 11. It has 11 electrons. So sodium has atomic number of 11. Alright, here we cannot just simply look at the first and the second, but we also have to look at the third one. So you are going to be using the first shell, second shell and the third shell. Let's look at this, how we will put it. From 11, my first shell can accommodate only 2. So I am going to be putting 2 over here. From 11, I have used up 2. I have 9 electrons remaining. But my second shell can take only 8. So I put 8 over here. So now 2 I put in the first shell. 8 I put in the second shell. So total of 10 I have used. I have only one remaining and that I put in the last shell. Last shell means the third shell. Okay. So first shell I put 2. Second shell I put 8. And third shell I put 1 electron. Okay. Let's fill in the table. So sodium I have put 2 electrons in K shell. 8 electrons in L shell and 1 electron in M shell. So my electronic configuration will be 2, 8, 2,8,1. Okay. Now same method you will be using for chlorine and argon also. Where they also will be using up 3 shells. Directly I will show you bromine now. Alright. So bromine has the electron number as 35. So, bromine has 35. Alright. So, here obviously I am going to be using 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. All 4 shells I will be using because that many number of electrons I have got. Alright. So, 
from 35 i'm going to be using two electrons in the first shell so from 35 i use up two 33 electrons are remaining from 33 i will put eight in the second shell so first shell is two second shell is eight so total now how many i use 10 electrons are used up okay 10 electrons are used up from 35 10 have been used to 25 remaining okay now from 25 that are remaining i put 18 in the third shell from 25 which was remaining 18 i put in the third shell so how many more are remaining only 7 electrons are left and that 7 i will put in the fourth shell all right always do it in a step wise manner first shell second third and fourth so this is my atomic structure of bromine all right so let's fill in the table so i put 2 in k shell 8 in l shell 18 i put in the m shell and 7 i put in the n shell all right so my electronic configuration will be 2 comma 8 comma 18 comma 7 so this is how you find out the electronic configuration now what you are going to be doing is you are going to be solving electronic configuration not only of those atoms which you see blank but in your rough books you will be solving everything from hydrogen till bromine what is solved in in this video and what is not solved everything has to be done in your rough book always understand understanding this concept is very important because if you have this concept cleared then only you will understand the next concept in your book you're going to be learning valence electrons next and for that understanding electronic configuration is very very important okay so you can start solving now i hope this is clear if you have any doubts also when you're doing it it will get cleared so don't worry about that okay thank you